Good morning. Got something to show you. I really want you to listen very carefully this morning. All right, I'm leaving my room. I'm coming over here. Take a look now. All right. You see, this is Shannon's room here. This is the art department. She's an art teacher. She's not a Bible teacher. She's not a math teacher. Her specialty is in art. I watch this. <clears throat> I'm going to go down here. You take a look over here. This is Bethany's room, and she is in math, as is Greg's. Greg teaches math, but I come over to here, and this is Dr. Tony's room, and he teaches Bible. And if I go all the way down this hall, which I'm going to do, you're going to see different teachers teach different subjects. You have another Bible teacher here. You have our Spanish teacher here. Deidre teaches German here. Then you come over here. You have our history teacher, Beth. Look at this. You know this. Teachers have different subjects. They're not called in here to handle every subject and to handle multiple workloads in uh, the teaching. They might take an extra one. Some teachers might be coaches. Uh, some teachers might handle an extra after school activity, drama club, uh, photography club, robotics club, or something like that. But when it gets down to it, <clears throat> you do not have a teacher having to handle all the coaching, all of the administration and things like that, you know that. And yet we have Christians that get very, very flustered when they say, I can't do it all. I can't do it all. And you just wonder, you know, I'm so limited in my service to the Lord. Now listen, we go to Matthew chapter 25 in the parable of the talents. And the master goes away, as Jesus is talking about and giving a parallel of the kingdom of heaven. The master goes away, and you know in those days, this could be six months, this could be a year. The servants are there, and they're responsible for the talents. They are responsible for that. Now, <clears throat> I want you to think about this. They are given a responsibility of a financial a containment, a talent. It might be one had a talent of gold, one might have a talent of silver, one might have a talent of copper. The weight of each of those, a talent is a, a weight, and that's going to be around 75 pounds. You're talking about a, ma a major investment that they're doing, that they're giving, that they're being given the responsibility there. Okay, we're talking about something, something really serious here. And when they're given that, they're just told, be responsible with it. Do something with it, okay? Invest for me. Bring back something. One is given five, one is given two, there's one that's given one. Point being, some people have extra talents in the physical sense, in the American sense. They have extra abilities and they're given more responsibility. It doesn't matter that they look across and they see somebody else and they say, well, now wait a minute, they have more, they have less and everything. It's what you have and what you do with what you are given. Some were no doubt given talents of gold. Some were given silver, copper. The punishment came when the one had one talent and went and buried it and did nothing. Did you notice he didn't have five? It wasn't the fact that, he, that the master lost so much. It was the fact, I think Jesus did that just with the, just one talent. It was the fact that what was given was not used. And there was a responsibility there. Christian, I want you to uh, think about this. We said yesterday, what things can we do to show our love for, for Jesus? And we were talking about that. And getting to read and learn was yesterday. Today is service in your abilities and with the talents you were given. I know some of the people that are listening right now are, are housebound, or you're limited physically, or you just don't have the education that other people do. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's as the Lord has given you benefit, as the Lord has given you talent, as the Lord has given you opportunity. Have you used that? For some of my friends that are watching this, maybe the biggest opportunity to have is at Christmas time when family comes over. Have you planned in a way to be able to witness or share? Or some people, it might be the greatest ministry you have is sending out emails or sending out Christmas letters 
or talking on the phone with somebody. God bless you. That's great. That's great. Do that. Some of you have the ability to teach at your church or at a school like we have here. The question is, are you using those talents? Some of you have multiple talents. The Lord just asks, are you using it for my glory? And that's one of the Christmas presents we can bring Jesus. And so my question for you today is, are you getting frustrated over the fact that you don't have more? Or are you serving with what you were given? 75 pounds is a pretty hefty amount. And that one gentleman was given 75 pounds of currency to be responsible over, and he couldn't handle that. I'd say with the talents we're given, we have plenty of responsibility. We have plenty to do. So whether you are housebound or you're limited to a cubicle or a classroom or you are out on the road as a salesman, you have a route, uh, whatever your service, you have a musical ability, a coaching ability, a speaking ability, a writing ability, whatever it is, Lord knows what your talent is and so do you. Would you really just commit today as a Christmas present to the Lord Jesus Christ in thanks of taking the talent that was given you and sharing it, whatever it is. And then maybe later on, selfishly, let us know what happens, okay? Let us know what your talent is and for us to pray for you. Thank you so much for listening. This is Brad Zockel at Grace Christian Academy. I've got to use my talent today. I've got some things to do in my little corner of the world, which is room 129 here in Knoxville, Tennessee, USA. And again, I want to ask you something. If you get a chance, go over. You will find the archive of all of these uh, different uh, videos over on my YouTube channel. And I, I'm not trying to be selfish, but I'm saying if you can refer back, if you could subscribe in there, then these will come over on a regular basis to you as well. Thank you so much. God bless you. Love you. I really do. I appreciate you all so very much. Thank you. And we will talk tomorrow.